I think we're going to be the best team going into the finals. We're four of the best players on the same team, and we're all dedicated to win. Having T-Square as a captain is great. He's the one that calls us all up to get on and practice. As long as he just keeps having the drive to win, then everyone will. Illumite's probably the smartest player in Halo 3. He's just great support player, great objective player. I try to come up with most of the strategies, and a lot of the strategies other teams use have been stolen from our team. We're not the best team in the world yet. We're practicing hard, and we're not letting ourselves get lazy. The way that we've done in the season in the number one spot means nothing if we get second in the finals. So that's really what we were, our team is focused on is the finals, the Vegas finals. And there you have it right there. Great players, great respect and admiration for each other, leading to a great team, Puckett and Sundance. Yeah, and you know, we got a great series going on as well. Uh, it's five to three right now. This next game type is a strong suit for Instinct, though. They play really well CTF on CTF Onslaught, so this is gonna be interesting. Straight Ripper got their work cut out for them if they're gonna win this next game. And Instinct, of course, they're down, but they're not out. So I'm looking for big things out of those guys. All right, well, Sundance, it's time to find out. Is it all going to end with this game, or is there going to be more? We are going right into the next game. It is going to be a big game nine here. It is CTF Onslaught, my favorite game type out of the 11. Sundance, as you mentioned earlier, Instinct, they're perfect in it since Toronto. Time to see if they can keep it up. We're going to jump on board with Legit. We're just taking down, we're jumping on board with Snipe down. Snipe down being taken down at Instinct Base. We're going to go on board with Roy. Roy is trying to climb his way top B and I am trying not to sneeze. I fought it off and here we go. Roy is moving top middle people. I am excited. Put the little finger under your nose right there. But yeah, going from Snipe down to Roy, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at the stats and, and I check it out and see that Roy so far in this tournament is going plus 63, but Snipe down in one less matchup has gone plus 74. I mean, these guys, these two of the best guys in kills going positive here in this tournament and they're, they're displaying truly professional uh, Halo 3 play right here. And of course, you got to remember that game earlier in the tournament last night on ESPN Saturday Night where Snipe Down put up 44 kills, only 20 deaths in that long CTF pit match. But now we are watching as all four members of NSYNC are taken down, and this is the first of flag first flag attempt out of either team. It's going in the hands of Elmite Warrior. He was holding onto that flag as long as possible. Now he's jumping it around, trying to get it in his base. He's going to get shut down. T-squared trying to make his way over to it because legit just sprung a big double kill bottom middle. And here comes T-squared to support. And if they get that kill, yes, Double. they do. Nice work, and legit is going to be able to put in this first flag of the game. Here goes straight ripping. And not only do they put it in, but they're not in a position for a counter cap to be sprung by instinct. All four were alive at the second, at the moment that that flag went in. That's great execution, legit taking his time, not rushing. Good job right there. Patience. It's all about patience sometimes, especially in an objective game. And once again, I just got to point out how big that double kill was out of legit. Absolutely huge. It was a two-on-one situation. He took them both out with a perfect grenade. And now we got Elmite Warrior trying to keep this flag alive, but it is not going to happen because while she is there inside the straight ripping base. Now remember, we've seen it before on this on this map, this game type. The team can get a cap very, very quickly. And here's Walshie. And you know what, Sundance? If they score this one, they may be set up to get a second flag cap. So Walshie trying to stay alive in his base. He was shooting across the map. Straight Ribbon doing a nice job fighting off a second flag cap, clearing out their base with three players dead. And now Walshie waiting on Straight Ribbon to push in on him. And it's Snipe Down in front of him, but three nice shots on Snipe Down. But two legit is coming in from behind. And now legit is moving a second flag cap here. Four straight ripping, misses his first jump, rarely misses that, and El Might Warrior is going to put it in as Legit goes right back to the four, straight ripping up now, two to one in this objective game. And